I want to discuss a bit of a stinky subject. In this video, I want to talk about something that a lot of people screw their nose up. It's long drop etiquette. These kinds of toilets, they're not as bad as they're made out to be. Now, I don't want to spend too long about it on in this subject, and I don't want to tell you how to do your business, pun intended. But these places, they're put here to help look after beautiful places like this. Now, when you come out camping, you've got a couple of options. Now, if you've got the long drop toilet like we've got behind us, you can use them. You can dig a hole and bury your waste, or you can carry a chemical toilet and then have to dispose of the chemicals. I wanna to talk to you about these because I think you should be using these because far too often when I go camping, I see toilet paper spread everywhere. Like, yeah, they don't wanna go in there, but they'll go there, they'll go over there. And half the time they won't dig a hole or it won't be deep enough and the animals will come and dig it up and you'll end up camping on it and it turns a really nice pristine campsite into something that's disgusting and no one wants to go near. Now, these toilets are made to make our life out here a bit nicer. Give us a couple of little creature comforts that we've got at home. Yes, we don't have flushing toilets here, but do we need them? Not really. One of the common complaints that these things get, now I'm not going in there just yet, but one of the common complaints that we get with these things is they, whew, they stink. There is ways to combat that stench. And it comes down to how you use the toilet. Now, you're not gonna go in there and take your paper and spend half an hour reading. No, go and do that back at your campsite. Get in there, get your business done and get out. But make sure that you keep these joints clean and use them, not around them. Too many places. There's toilet paper around them and not in the toilet itself. Now, I want to dispel the myth that these things are smelly and dirty and disgusting. Come on. All right, now you can see just in there that it wasn't filthy. There wasn't, you know, that misconceived, ill-informed Perception that there's just disgusting and things out. I wasn't going to open the toilet seat, but because you don't need to see in there. We all know what goes in there. But if we keep that toilet seat down, it actually traps the smell in there and it allows the smell of everything to come out that pipe up there where it's meant to. Now, if that toilet seat's left open, and I uh, trust me, a lot of people do it is the stench gets out. It makes it disgusting. And the flies, the covers in flies, and we, I don't know any, does anyone like flies? Spiders, maybe, but it, the flies just attract to it. Keep the toilet lid shut, and then it makes it a, a more pleasant situation. Carry your own toilet paper there, Make sure you've got your own. Don't rely on these places having toilet paper because as you can see, there's none here. So you should have your own. Take your own with you. Take it back to your campsite. At least you know you've always got it. And then you can wash your hands back at your campsite because you should have some hand sanitizer and soap or something to wash your hands. Quite simple. Don't spend too long in there. Shut the lid once you're done. Shut the door. No animals can get in there, no stench. It keeps the crap off the ground. And it keeps these campsites like this beautiful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Go and subscribe to my channel for other tips. I have an awesome playlist for campsites for you to go and check out. So go and check out that as well as the other playlists that I've got.